Good morning, brothers and sisters. Praying you're having a blessed night. Our devotional thought this morning comes from Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verse 30 and 31. And it reads, By faith the walls of Jericho fell down, after they were compassed about seven days. By faith the harlot Rahab perished not with them, that believed not, when she had received the spies with peace. Our Father God, as we open your word this morning, we thank you for allowing us to see another day. We thank you for protecting us through the night. Now, Lord, as we get ready to have our devotion, Lord, and spend some time with you, and then ready get ready to go out to do our duties for the day, I pray that you will go before us, Lord, and go behind us, and that you will direct us and lead us to wherever you would help us go, and help us to walk in your ways at all times today. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down. After they were compassed about seven days, by faith the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believeth not, when she received the spies with peace. Folks, this morning I want to talk for a short moment about safety, about safety, something that it seems like it's on everybody's mind these days. How can I assure that I'm safe? How can I make sure I'm safe no matter what's going on? And folks, the Lord leads me to Hebrews chapter 11 because verse 30 sets it all in perspective. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. Folks, we know, we know the word says that, that, that they marched around in seven days. And the seventh time, seven times on the seventh day. And they blew the trumpets and the insurmountable, the unbreachable wall fell down. Folks, and we see that when the fall fell down, that was a dangerous place to be. It was dangerous to those that were in Jericho. It was dangerous to those that made Jericho home. But I look at verse 31, by faith, the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not, when she had received the spies with peace. Our word says that when they were spying out the city, she met the spies. She protected them. She received them in danger to her own self. She inherently committed committed treason. And they made her a promise. They said, listen, hang this in 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 your window. And when the wall comes down, you will be safe. It's so, okay, folks, this morning, I just want just to just share with us that when we serve God, safety has nothing to do with proximity. You see, folks, when we, when, we, when we have natural disasters, there's a radius that they hit. You may be the hurricane radius, the earthquake radius, and the, and the, you know, and the fire radius or whatever disaster radius may be in. You find yourself, okay, what's my zip code? Where is this coming? I need to make sure I'm out of harm's way. But folks, when you walk with God, God says, listen, real safety, safety that really matters, is not where your body is positioned, but where your heart is positioned. Rahab's neighbors. Rahab's town was not safe. But Rahab herself was safe. Not because of where she was, but now because of who she was. And brothers and sisters, We may, as as the time gets closer and closer to the soon coming of Christ, where the time of trouble like no man has ever seen comes, we may not be able to remove ourselves from the proximity of danger with our bodies. But folks, if we position our hearts to God, If our hearts are in God, we serve a God that says, listen, I can have everything else around you fall and you can still stand. I can have you in a storm and still deliver you. You can be on the top of a dangerous mountain when the fire, the wind, and the earthquake is there, but I can have you safe. Why? Because Rahab was saved, not because of 
where her body was, but where her heart was. Brothers and sisters, as we go out this day, let's make sure our hearts are positioned to the Lord at all times. Because his hands are the safest hands that we can be in. Our Father God, Lord, we thank you that no matter where we are, no matter what's going on around us, Lord, you can hold us close to protect us. So, Father God, tune our hearts to you. Position our hearts to you. Surrender our hearts to you, Lord. Because we know your hands are the safest place to be. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters.